All right. So we're going to go to form SS10. And I just switched from the slideshow to using um, Nitro PDF. So um, the form SS10 is a consent to extend the time to assess employment taxes. And um, I will have the PowerPoints available um, and they, there are clickable links in there that will take you straight to these forms because um, the SS10 is a form that has been around since June or the last revision was done June of 2011. So it's been around for a while and they did fill the, the ERC one. Um, so if you grab it from the IRS website talking about ERC voluntary disclosure program, it is filled out already in reply refer to ERC voluntary disclosure, and then you'll fill out the name of the business and the, the address of the, the legal address of the business. And it's already filled out for B and it says April 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020, which I think that's an error, but because the ERC program did begin March 13th, 2020. However, you could not claim March 13th to March 31st ERC on quarter one return. It had to be filed on a quarter two return. So I think that's why they put those dates there. And um, sorry, I'm looking off to my other screen because I don't have the PDF on both screens. Um, so, and it does give, extend the, the time to assess to April 15th, 2025, because 2020 returns or 2020 payroll returns expire April 15th, 2024. So this is just giving them another year to make whatever assessments they deem necessary. And it does talk about your rights as a taxpayer. You have a, a right to refuse to extend the period of uh, limitations or limit this extension to mutually agreed upon issues, which mutually agreed upon issues would be ERC, voluntary disclosure program, and extending the period of assessment from for periods of 2020 from April 15th, 2024 to April 15th, 2025.